science majors, and today we're going to teach you how to properly use a microscope and prepare a wet now. A microscope is a high quality instrument and should last 25 to 30 years if treated properly and with care. Following these simple instructions will not only help you care for your microscope and keep it in a good condition, but will also help you get the most out of your microscope. When moving your microscope, always carry it with both hands. Grasp the arm with one hand and place the other hand under the base for support. Turn the revolving nose piece so that the lowest power objective lens is clicked into position. It is also the shortest objective lens. Your microscope slide should be prepared by placing a cover slip or cover glass over the specimen. This will help protect the objective lenses if they touch the slide. Place the microscope slide on the stage and fasten it with the stage clips. Look at the objective lens and the stage from the side and turn the course focus knob so that the objective lens moves downward or the stage if it moves goes upward. Move it as far as it will go without touching the slide. Now, look through the eyepiece and adjust the illuminator and diaphragm for the greatest amount of light. Slowly turn the course adjustment knob so that the objective lens goes up. Continue until the image comes into focus. Use the fine adjustment if available for fine focusing. Before you forget, always remember, do not touch the glass part of the lenses with your fingers. Use only special lens paper to clean the lenses. When finished, raise the tube or lower the stage. Click the low power lens in the position and remove the slide. Unplug the microscope from the power source and secure it properly. Always keep your microscope covered when not in use. Dust is the number one enemy. Remember, microscopes are expensive scientific instruments. Handle it properly and carefully, and, and they, they will last for many years. The first thing to do is to prepare all necessary materials needed in making a wet mount. Place a drop of water in the center of the slide. Place the specimen into the drop of water, and if the specimen floats, add another drop of water on top of it. This reduces the possibilities of air bubbles forming. Carefully lower the cover glass so that it touches with one side the drop of water. The cover slip should form an angle of about 45 degrees with the slide. <coughs> Lastly, remove excess water with a filter paper or tissue paper. Now, you're good to go.